So next we're going to look at a method called board account. So imagine we have a group of mathematicians who are going to get together for a conference, and they're coming from Seattle, Tacoma, Puyallup, and Olympia, uh, and they want to choo choose a location. And so they go ahead and vote, and here's their preferences in the schedule. So notice that if we were to go with plurality method here, uh, the winner would be Seattle with a majority, right? Seattle has a majority of first place votes out of the uh, 100 votes that we have here. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and go with this board account method. So the idea is we're going to assign points. There's one point given for last place, uh, two points for second to last place, uh, and so on up. So three points and four points. Uh, and this will change depending upon how many choices they, there are. So for example, in these 51 votes, uh, there are, are 51 uh, people who, uh, sorry, th 51 of these votes are going to get four points each. And so that's going to be uh, 204 points for uh, Seattle uh, as an option. So Seattle's going to get uh, 51 votes each, earning them four points. Uh, meanwhile, Tacoma is going to earn uh, 51 votes, each er earning them three points, and so that's 153. Uh, Olympia now is going to earn 51 votes, two points each, that's 102 points. Uh, and Puyallup, I'm kidding, Puyallup, uh, is going to earn one point each, is 51. Uh, so that's the number of points earned from these 51 voters. Now for these 50, uh, these 25 voters, we're now going to add in some additional points. So Seattle here is going to earn one point each, because remember this is last ch place, so one point from each of those 25 votes. Then we're, uh, Tacoma is going to get four points for each of those 25 votes. Olympia is going to earn uh, two points from each of those 25 votes, and Puyallup is going to earn three points from each of those 25 votes. And then on to the next group. So uh, Seattle is going to earn, uh, so we got 10 voters here. So we have 10 voters. Each is giving one point to Seattle. They are giving three points to Tacoma. They're giving uh, two points to Olympia. And they're giving four points to Puyallup. And then finally, we have uh, these 14 voters who are giving uh, one point to Seattle. Uh, they're giving three points to Tacoma. And they're giving, let's see, four points to Olympia. And they're giving two points to Puyallup. Uh, so now we can go ahead and add those up. And we end up with Seattle earning 253 points, Tacoma earns 325 points, Olympia earns 228 points, and uh, Puyallup earns 194 points. And so the winner under this election is the choice with the highest number of points, and so the winner is Tacoma. Uh, and you should immediately notice an issue here uh, in that the choice that had the majority of first place votes uh, didn't win. And so this method can, doesn't always, but it can, uh, it can violate what's called the majority criterion. The majority criterion says if a first choice Sorry, if a choice has more than 50% of the first choice votes, it seems fair that they should win. In this case, that didn't happen. Now, what's really happening with board account is that it tends to favor uh, sort of a good compromise option. So even though the 51 people probably coming from Seattle really want it to be in Seattle, it turns out that Tacoma is a better compromise since no one else really wants to go to Seattle except for those people.